Greetings, everyone. I come to you right now in the most precious name of Abba Father. And I'm in a space right now where I know when God is speaking to me even that much more because his voice rings thunder and is in a place right, right now. It always has been, but he's shown me even that much more how he speaks to me. So what I'm being shown is that the children, they're exposing the cursed ones that are amongst us. Now, what I mean by that is, one second, Father, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, my Father, my Master, my Redeemer, my Healer. Amen. So the children, they're exposing the people that are around them who are witches demons, demonic entities, those who play a role with Satan, those who are against the remnant, those who are against the children of the Most High God, because these adults that are amongst the children, many of them are witches. Witches already infiltrated. Their spirit has already been infiltrated. Um, people that are around them that are very strong biblical people that are in the word, they read the Bible. So not just read the Bible, but you can tell they have a relationship with God. They're amongst these people as leaders. And these people, they're playing neutral. But at the same time, they see the light and what God is truly doing. And they also hear the whispers of the crowds and what people are saying. But what they're saying, many of them are speaking very negative. And when they speak very negative... The people that are of the light, if they're paying attention, then they can see that these people, they literally, literally are haters, low vibration, bad diet, toxic, the gossipers. They're the ones who are always starting things. And many of them are witches, warlocks, and warlords. And many people have taken a vow to community leaders pastoral ships and rulerships within people not realizing that these people they're tied in to secret societies and masonic temples and they're tied in with high leaders and high ranking places and courthouses and even that much more to the Vatican so the children they are they are being robbed right now there are gifts that are being given to the children, whether it is child support, money for shoes, um, governmental assistance and checks, or whatever people saying that they're getting money to give to the children for, whether it's food stamps, no food stamps, whether it is help, whether it is, you know, I'm, I'm broke, give me help, I need help with my child's school book. But at the same time, they have the money, but they're spending it on other things, and it has nothing to do with the children. Many of these people are using the children as bartering tools and pawns. Many of them are even sleeping with the children behind the scenes. And when someone steps on the scene with higher power, there is always someone on the scene who's doing dirt. And their dirt that they're doing, they're doing it to the children behind the scenes. So their job is to get all the people to not pay attention to the people that God has placed on the scene with the light. Because just like God knows the timing, the devil knows the timing as well. So pay attention to the children, what they're saying, what they're saying about people, who's hushing them, who's shutting them up. Because many of the children are programmed to tell a lie. They're programmed to protect the adults or elders that are around them because they feel that they will be in trouble if they don't. But many of the children, they see the wrong. They see the wrong. They expose it. They know it's wrong. And even if they rebel or speak against it, then that child is in trouble. But I'm going to tell you this. If this is you, 
woe unto you. For the Bible states that it is worse. It is better for a millstone to be tied around your neck and for you to be dropped into the bottom of the ocean than for you to make a child to fall. I'm decreeing and I declare right now, and I know it within my spirit, that a lot of people finna fall right now because of what it is that they have done to children and what it is that they are doing to children. Children are being robbed, they're being abused, they're being misled, they're being hurt, they're being molested, they're being um, lied on, they're being called crazy or people are coming against them. If they're not taking their side, they're not allowed to be autonomous. And this is deep because even as I'm speaking this to you, this is reminding me of a dream that God even gave me regarding this specific topic. These people are going to be exposed. If this is you, you're going to be exposed. If you've hurt, harmed, or injured a child in any way, shape, or form, this is your season to receive everything that God has coming for you. Because these children are innocent, but yet you played against their innocent. And because you played against their innocent, God is going to allow that much more demons to torment you. And, the, and, and many people that are around you and they're doing this with you, whether they know that you're wrong or you're right. And if you're around someone that's doing this and you know that this person is wrong and you hear it for the, for it is written, you can't ride both sides of the fence. How is somebody going to say that, oh, you serve God or you don't, don't, don't serve God? I mean... Do you really hold the keys to heaven and hell? Do you really hold the keys to the bottomless pit? And what makes you so holier than thou? Is it not written, cast the first stone? What's your sin? But yeah, you'll look at someone else and say, oh, God didn't send them. Oh, who are they? Oh, I don't know who they think they are. So you want to put titles on people because you feel you're entitled because your position is threatened? Or are you afraid that you're going to be exposed for what it is that you're doing and have done to these children? Children grow up and they speak. But at this point, they ain't even got to grow up no more. They're going to tell on you and they're telling on you now. And you're going to reap what it is that you have done to these children and what you're doing to the children. And what's even deeper about it is, have you not noticed that your finances are cursed? You're cursed in the city, cursed in the field, cursed when you go out, cursed when you come in. You even speak curses against yourself. You talk about everyone around you. Why? Because you don't want to expose what it is that you're truly doing. Huh. That's a lot of nerve. So you don't like who God sends? Huh? Take it up with God. For it is written, touch not my anointing and suffer my prophets no harm. So you want to touch your anointing, you want to test it, you're about to find out. So God is exposing the Judases around us and he's exposing them to the, through the children. And as he exposed the Judases around us through the children, baby, listen to what I'm saying to you, okay? If this is you and you experiencing this, everybody who doing you dirty right now, everybody who's siding with people, they can speak up with, for you. Remember, as Yeshua was being hung on the cross... Many of these people stood on the sideline and they threw stones right along with people. And even if they did not throw a stone, if they were crying, if they didn't run after Yeshua, if they didn't go grab the cross or try to stop people or walk with him, they are just as guilty. And I'm letting you know right now that so many of you are following these crowds. You're following people. You're feeling like, oh, they have leadership or entitlement or they can get me some money. And a lot of y'all doing it just for evil intent. Y'all following witches. Witches, warlocks, witch doctors that are coming against the light of the most high God. And that's one light that you don't want to come against. Whether you believe that God sent them or not. Who are you to feel as if you have such sense of entitlement? To feel as if, oh, this is my hood. Really? Where your name is? How much land you own? How much fruit you got? Oh, 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 you ain't, you don't own nothing? How much rent you pay? Oh, you don't pay no rent? Did your ancestors pass that land down to you? Your, your, if they did pass it down to you, even if your grandma, if your mama passed it down to you, what is your history? What is your tribe? What tribe are you from? You can't speak against tribes. You can't even speak on tribes. You know why? Because you're too busy following your pastors. And all the different parishes who's telling you, uh, don't pay attention to them people. 
I'll let you know. God has always been saying these things, huh? But God also instructs his remnant to shake the dust off of their feet when they're amongst those who come against the word of the Most High God. And trust me when I say it, we're not afraid of you or any of your minions or demons that come with you. And in that order, 